Truckers block access roads to the Guillermo Ida Bell refinery, known as Palmasola. Various heavy transport sectors in Santa Cruz, Cojabamba and La Paz are demanding new measures to regularize the flow of dollars, as they have no money for business trips or to import spare parts, in addition to the shortage of hydrocarbons. These demonstrations are taking place against a backdrop of continuing shortages of fuel and foreign currency, which they blame on the government of Luis Arce. Bolivian President Luis Arce acknowledged difficulties in obtaining dollars, but denied that there is an economic crisis. A week ago, international cargo transporters and merchants blocked several routes connecting Bolivia with Peru and Chile to denounce this shortage. These sectors announced pressure measures for June 3, 4 and 10 as a continuation of their protests and with demands for short-term solutions. The Bolivian government assured a year ago that the new gold law would stabilize the lack of the US currency due to the sale of the metal. The official discourse attributes the situation to speculation from private banks. Ars declared that the Bolivian opposition seeks to generate a political crisis. According to data from the Central Bank of Bolivia, financial institutions have $285 million in cash for their clients. In Bolivia, the official rate is 6.96 bolivianos per dollar, but on the black market it is quoted at 9 bolivianos. The lack of dollars has been dragging on since February 2023. At the beginning of this year, the executive branch recognized the fall in international reserves due to a decrease in gas sales and insufficient exploration tasks. The leaders of merchants and transporters are protesting the restrictions on accessing dollars in both private and state banks as well as currency exchange houses.